Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. I'm so grateful for you all. So we're going to go ahead and work on this uh, jumpsuit. We are going to look in two parts. So this is your first part and we're going to work on the top. So let's go ahead and begin. So let's go ahead and start off with our slip knot here. And all of my tools will be in the description box. So we're going to chain a number of chains here and we're going to start off. This is the neck portion of your jumpsuit. So we're going to start off with a chain of 46. We want to start off with an even number. That hook does not count as a double crook, as a sing, as a chain, sorry. So go ahead and grab your yarn and make your chains. You're going to make about 46 of those chains. Again, that loop does not count as a stitch. So go ahead and pull through and that's another chain. So you're going to make 46 chains and I will be back. Okay, so I have my 46 chains here. I'm going to, that loop on your hook does not count for a chain. I'm going to skip that first chain and go into the second chain with a single crochet. And I'm going to make one single crochet going all the way across. This is row one. Okay, so now that we have our 45 single crochets going across, now we're going to go into the next row. So go ahead and chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to make another row of single crochets, but this time we're going to increase. So in your second row, you will increase. So in your first stitch, you're going to make two single crochets into that first stitch. There's one and two. Now you're going to make one single crochet in the rest of your stitches. And when you get to your last stitch, you will make two single crochets and that's an increase okay so i'm at the end and now i have i'm going to put two single crochets into this last stitch now as you're going along you're going to see a star in the pattern when you see that star that just needs to repeat repeat a certain section of your row so now we have 47 single crochets going across when you get to the end of the row and you make your last two single crochets, chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to do another increase for row three. So in your first stitch, you're going to put two single crochets. And then one single crochet going all the way across again, just like we did in row two. So we're at the end of the row and now we have 49 single crochets going across. Remember, we increased for two rows. We started off with 45. So when you get to the end of this, uh, your third row, you're going to put two single crochets into the last stitch. And now go ahead and chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to make some more rows of single crochets. The only difference is that we're not going to increase. So now we're on row four and for rows four five and six you're just going to put one single crochet into each stitch so one single crochet into that first stitch all the way across and you're going to do this for rows four five and six there is no more increasing okay so now i have six rows of single crochets you want to divide half of that 49 divided by two and put your stitch marker in the 25th place then you're going to divide 24.5 divided by 2 and put your stitch marker in the 13th place. If this is too fast, you can always slow it down. So now you're going to put your stitch marker back in, chain 1, and cut your yarn. So once you've cut your yarn, go ahead and pull that through. Make sure that knot is nice and tight. Now we're going to move on to the middle section of our project. Um, you can go ahead and remove that middle stitch marker in there because we're going to be working in this front panel here. This is the front panel of your jumpsuit. So go ahead and place your stitch marker. You want to put your stitch marker after 
the uh, you want to put your hook in the next stitch after the stitch marker sorry i'm out of the camera but i'm going to be back in the camera in a second put your yarn in that stitch after the stitch marker and go ahead and just chain one i mean chain two it's supposed to be a chain two go into that first double crochet the same one you slip stitched into or whether you chain one into and make a double crochet now we're just going to make one double crochet is going all the way across you're going to stop you make your last double crochet at that next stitch marker in the stitch before the stitch marker you make that last double crochet so i'm going to continue making my double crochets over here and when i come back i will have 23 double crochets going all the way across i'll be back okay this is row seven and i have my 23 double crochets go ahead and chain two and turn your work okay so once you chain turn your work we're going to go ahead into row eight this chain does not count as a double crochet and there is no increase so you're going to make one double crochet into the first three stitches now we're beginning our pattern so because we are on the wrong side of our project we want to make i'm sorry we're on the correct side of our project we're going to make a front post double group crochet so make your hook make your front post double crochet into that next stitch i'm going to slow that down and do that again for you but now once you make that front post double crochet you want to make one double crochet into the next three stitches and then once you've made your three double crochets go ahead and make a front post double crochet again so the way that you make a front post double crochet is this is the last section where you made your last double crochet and there's a stitch after that you're going to go in between those stitches so in between that last double crochet and the next double crochet you go out the side of the next double crochet so yarn over go into the stitch between the last double crochet you made and the next double crochet and then come out onto the other side so there's your front post double crochet put your hook through yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and that is your pattern all the way across so once you've made your front post double crochet you're going to make three double crochets in the next three stitches so one double crochet into the next three stitches from the previous row and if you've done this correctly you should end with three double crochets at the end of the row we did not increase we are just now finishing row eight so go ahead and chain two and turn your work and now we're going to go into the next row okay so now we're going into row nine again this is not an increase row we're just going to make our double crochets across so you make one double crochet into the next three stitches remember you have that front post double crochet in the back now so now we have to make a back double crochet when we get to that so make your first three double crochets one double crochet into the next three stitches now because our front post double crochet is in the back we're going to make a back post double crochet and it's just same still the same concept as a front post you don't want to go this way because you'll be pushing your front post double crochet to the back so you just want to go simply right into the back just like you did in the first row in the previous row sorry once you've made your back post double crochet go ahead and make another three double crochets across one double crochet into the next three stitches and again this is just a repeat of that pattern um, after you've made your three double crochets going across you want to make a front post double crochet again 
So you're just going to repeat, I'm sorry, a back post double crochet. So you're just going to repeat this pattern all the way across. There is no, uh, there is no increasing. So you're going to have 23 double crochets when you get to the end. So I'm going to continue making my stitches across and I'll meet you when I get closer to the end. Okay, so I'm at the end, almost at the end of the row, and I'm going to make this back post double crochet here. And then you're going to make one double crochet into these last three stitches. Again, we did not increase, so you should have 23 double crochets going across. We're finishing up row nine. So as you can see, they are to the back, but once we turn this around, you will see chain two and turn your work. So as you can see, those front post double crochets here, you should always have front post double crochets in the front and nothing in the back, only front post double crochets. So now we're going to begin increasing our rows because we want to not have any side boobs sticking out. If you would prefer to have some side boobs sticking out, that's more, that's up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and start to increase. So this is row 10 and this is an increase row. So go into your first stitch. Remember that chain does not count as a double crochet. Go into your first stitch and make two double crochets. Now into your next stitches, you're going to make two double crochets, one double crochet into the next two stitches across. And you're just going to follow your pattern as you increase you will get more and more double crochets. So now you're going to put one double crochet into the next two stitches across. And then your next stitch is going to be a front post of double crochet. So now we're falling back into our normal pattern, which is the front post double crochet. And then one double crochet in the next three stitches. And then another front post double crochet in the next stitch. So I'm going to continue with my pattern. From here, you make a front post double crochet and then one double crochet into the next three stitches. And we're going to keep going. And I'm going to meet you when I get closer to the end of the row. Okay, so now we're at the end of the row. And now we're going to make a front post double crochet. And then one double crochet into the next two stitches. There's one and two. And now you're going to make two double crochets into the last stitch. Remember that chain from the previous row does not count as a double crochet. So once you've made this last double crochet here, you will have 25 double crochets going all the way across. If you have more or less, then you either skip something or you miss something. So I'll be back. So when you get to the end of your row, go ahead and chain two and turn your work. So now we're stepping into row 11. This is a no increase row. Put one double crochet into the next four stitches. Now because we've turned our work, our front post double crochet is in the back. So let's make this final double crochet here. And now go into the next double crochet with a back post double crochet. Remember that front post is in the back now. So we have to go towards the back. Make sure you're not catching on to any other yarn and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. So now you're going to go back into your normal pattern, which is your three double crochets. So I made one, this is two, and three. Now in your next stitch, make your back post double crochet. And you're just going to repeat this all the way across. And I'm going to meet you at the end. Okay, so now we're at the end of the row. And I'm going to make my back post double crochet here. This is the last one for this row. And now one double crochet into the last four stitches, just like we did on the other side. So 
So now you should have, again, 25 double crochets going across because this is a non-increased row. So go ahead and chain two and turn your work. Now we're stepping into row 12. And your row 12 is going to be an increase row. Because remember, we're increasing every other row. So as you can see here, we did our two double crochets in the previous row, which was row 10, and we did our increase. So then in row 11, there's no increase. So now to row 12, this is your increase. So go into your first stitch with two double crochets, and then one double crochet into the next three stitches. Now since we've turned our work, we will make a front pose double crochet. So right here we have five stitches now because we increased. So now go into the next stitch with a front post double crochet. Now we're falling back into our normal pattern. So then in your next three stitches you make one double crochet. And then our front post double crochet. So again just keep working your pattern. This is our normal pattern, so after we make our front post double crochet, we will make one double crochet into the next three stitches until we get closer to the end. So I'm going to keep making these stitches going across. Here's my front post double crochet, and then I'll make my one double crochet into the next three stitches, and I will be back. Okay, so we're at the end of the row. We're still in row 12. Now make your last front post double crochet and then make one double crochet into the next three stitches. And then two double crochets into the last stitch. So when you're done, you should have 27 double crochets across because we increased on each side. So we went from 25 to 27 double crochets. So now we can move on to row, uh, what row is this? I'm not sure. Okay, so we're stepping into row 13. Go ahead and chain two and turn your work. So this is a non-increase row. So go into your first five double crochets or the first, the next five stitches with one double crochet. So one double crochet into the next five stitches. Remember we've turned our work so now we're going to make a back post double crochet once we've made our five double crochets across. Go ahead and make that back post double crochet. Remember again always whenever you turn your work when your uh, front post double crochets are in the back you will make a back post double crochet. So now continue on. Once you've made that back post double crochet, we're going to go right into our normal pattern, which is your three double crochets across, one in each stitch, and then a back post double crochet into the next stitch, and just repeat again. Remember, this is a no increase row. This is row 13. So I'm going to keep following my pattern along and I will go ahead and meet you when I get closer to the end of the row. Okay, let's continue. We're still on row 13, our no increase row. I am making my final back post double crochet into this next stitch here. Remember previously we made our three double crochets. So now once I've made my front post double crochet, just like I did on the right side, I'm going to make one double crochet into the last five stitches. When you get to the end of the row, you should have 27 double crochets going across. Remember, because this is not an increase row, so the row that was an increase row made it 27 double crochets. So now let's go ahead and continue and we're going to go to the next row. So chain two and turn your work. We are now going into row 14. This is an increase row. 
So in your first stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. And now make one double crochet going across into the next four stitches. Once you have made your four uh, double crochets across, go ahead and go into that next stitch with a front post double crochet. Because remember, we've turned our work. So now our back post double crochets are in the front. Well, the front post double crochets are in the front. You should not have any back post double crochets. All of them should be to the front. So this is the next stitch, which is your front post double crochet. Now you just fall right back into your pattern with one double crochet into the next three stitches. And then that front post double crochet into the next stitch. So again, just keep going and repeat your pattern. Make your three double crochets across and then your front post double crochets. And I'm going to keep going and I will meet you when I get closer to the end. Okay, so now I'm at closer to the end of the row. Remember, we are in row 14. Go ahead and make that front post double crochet and then one double crochet into the next four stitches that's two three and four and now two double crochets into the last stitch of your row remember this is your increase row row 14 so you will place two double crochets into the last stitch just like you did at the beginning of the row okay so let's move on into the next row Go ahead and chain two and turn your work. We're now going into row 15. This is a non-increase row. So in your first six stitches, you're going to make one double crochet into the next stitch, six stitches across. Remember, this is an increase row because our previous row was a non-increase row. So now make one double crochet into the next stitch. I'm sorry, this is a non-increase row. So one double crochet into the next six stitches. When you get to your next stitch after your six, you're going to make a back post double crochet because remember, we've turned our work. So now our front posts are in the back. So make your back post double crochet after you make your six double crochets. Now go into the next three double crochets with one double crochet. We're going right back into our pattern. So keep following your pattern across. And again, once you get to the end, naturally that's going to change up. So go ahead and put this back post double crochet and then one double crochet into the next three double crochets. So continue on. I will continue on and I'll meet you when I get closer to the end. So in some magical way, I managed to miss the end part. So when you make your last back post double crochet, then you're going to make six more double crochets going across to end your row. Go ahead and chain two and turn your work. Now we're stepping into row 16, which is an increase row. So you start your first stitch with two double crochets into the same stitch. Then once you've made your two double crochets, make one front post double crochet into the next stitch. And we're doing this because this section here is getting wider. The side section of your front uh, center is increasing. So we're going to add a front post double crochet into the next stitch after you make your two double crochets into the same stitch. So make that front post double crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to make one double crochet into the next four stitches going across. And then we will immediately fall back into our normal pattern. So make these four double crochets across, one into each stitch. And then after you've made your four double crochets across, Go ahead and make one front post double crochet into the next stitch.
and then your three double crochets going across back into our normal pattern so I'm going to continue making these and I when I get closer to the end I'll meet you there and we'll continue on if you got it the gist of it once you get to the end of the row remember you're going to make your front post double crochet and then four double crochets or one double crochet in the next four stitches and then um, continue from there you're just going to repeat that pattern so I'll meet you at the end Okay, so we're at the end of the row, and now we're going to make one front post double crochet in this next stitch, and then three double crochets in the next four stitches, so one double crochet into the next four stitches. Then once you make that, then go ahead and make your front post double crochet. You have one more to go, and then make your way across. And don't forget to make sure that you put two double crochets into that last stitch. So once you make that front post double crochet, you're going to make four double crochets. And then in your last stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. So after that front post double crochet, make one double crochet into the next four stitches. So now in your last stitch, Go ahead and add two double crochets. Remember, this is an increased row. So at the end of every row of both on both sides, you want to make two double crochets in the same stitch. So now chain two and turn your work. We're moving on into row 17. And this is a non-increased row. So we will not increase here. Remember, we're only increasing every other row. So you're going to make one double crochet into the next two stitches. And then make a back post double crochet because remember your front post double crochets are on the back now. And all of our post double crochets should be in the front. So once you've made that back post double crochet, make one double crochet into the next four stitches. So now we're at the point where we're going to repeat our row. Remember what that star means is to repeat. So we're going to make that once I make my last double crochet here. And that's four across. I'm going to make a back post a double crochet. And this is the repeat of our pattern. And now I'm going to make three, one double crochet into the next three stitches. And just repeat that all the way across. And when I come back, I'm going to be closer to the end. Okay, so we're still on row 17. We're continuing. So make one double crochet into the next three stitches. We're getting closer to the end now. Now make your back post double crochet. So now just like we did in the beginning, we have to make one double crochet into the next four stitches going across. Just like we did in the previous row. That's one, two, three, and four. Now make your back post double crochet after you made your fourth stitch. Make that back post double crochet into the next stitch. And then one double crochet into the last two stitches. And when you get to the end of your row, you should have 31 double crochets going across. That includes your um, back post double crochet as far as this row is concerned. So now we're going to continue on with our work and go ahead and chain two and turn your work and I'll be back okay so now let's go ahead and go into the next row which is row 18 this is an increased row so you want to put two double crochets into your first stitch remember we did not increase in row 17 so we need to continue spreading out and increase in row 18 so your two double crochets go into that first stitch and then you want to make one double crochet into the next two stitches. 
and then the front post double crochet, excuse me, because now we've turned our work. So your post double crochets are in the front now. And now one double crochet into the next four stitches going across. And now after we make these four double crochets, we're going to fall back into our normal pattern, which is a front post double crochet. So now we have those four stitches. I'm going to be back in view in, in a second. Sorry, I just touched my microphone. I'm sorry about your ears. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to repeat it across. Repeat your normal stitches across, which is that front post double crochet in the next stitch. And then three double crochets across. And then one post double crochet again. And I'm just going to keep making that, making these stitches here. And I'm going to meet you when I get closer to the end of the row. So make your front post double crochet and then one double crochet into the next three double crochets and then a front post double crochet into the next and just go ahead and repeat that. And I'll meet you when I get closer to the end. Okay, so now we're at row 18. We're still continuing row 18. We're closer to the end. Go ahead and make your front post double crochet and then one double crochet into the next four stitches. And four. And once you make that fourth double crochet, make one front post double crochet into the next stitch. And then one double crochet into the next two stitches. And then two double crochets into your last stitch. When you come to the end of the row, you should have 33 double crochets going across. So chain two and turn your work. And I'll be back. Okay, so I do apologize. I did put two double crochets into that last stitch before we turned our work. So now we're going into row 19 with, and this is a non-increased row. So you're going to put one double crochet into your first three double crochets. And then again, we're right at that back post double crochet. So go in there with one back post double crochet. And then one double crochet into the next four stitches going across. This is two, three, four. And now make your one back post double crochet into the next stitch. So after you've made your back post double crochet, make your one double crochet into the next three stitches. And this is your normal repeat. This is your regular pattern repeat. So I'm going to keep making these stitches and I'll meet you when I get closer to the end. So I'm closer to the end of the row and we're still on row 19 and I'm making my last back post double crochet here. I seem to be slipping a lot. So now go ahead and make your one double crochet into the next four double crochets. And now another back post double crochet. And then once you've made your back post double crochet, Go ahead and make one double crochet in the last three double crochets, just like you did here in the beginning. You made three in the beginning, so your last three will have one double crochet. And I'll be back and we'll continue on. So now we're back at the end of the row and we have 33 double crochets going across. That includes your back post double crochets. So now go ahead and chain two and turn your work and we're going into row 20 and this is an increase row. So we will be adding two double crochets into that first stitch. 
Remember that your chain does not count as a double crochet. So go into your first stitch with a two double crochet. Remember this is your increase row. We are at row 20. Once you've made your two double crochets, make one double crochet into the next two stitches. And then a front post double crochet into the next. So two double crochets into that first stitch and then one double crochet into the next two stitches. And then make your front post double crochet. Your work is turned now. Once you've made your front post double crochet, go in with one double crochet into the next four stitches. We are heading back into our normal pattern, as you can see that star there. So once you've made your front post double crochet, what your next stitch, after you've made these four double crochets across, make your one front post double crochet. This is where you begin to repeat your pattern. And then one double crochet into the next three stitches. So this is the repeat for the middle section of your top. And then once uh, we get to the beginning, we go ahead and switch it up again. So I'm going to keep with my pattern and I'll meet you when I get closer to the end. Okay, so now we're closer to the end of the row. I've made my four double crochets here going across. Now you want to go into your last front pros double crochet. And then one double crochet into the next two stitches. We're just repeating what we did in the first in the beginning of the row. And now two double crochets into the last stitch, just like we did here. So when you get to the end of the row, you should have 35 double crochets going across. Go ahead and chain two. Okay, so once you chain two, go ahead and turn your work. Now we're going into a non-increase row. Remember row 20 was an increase row. So now we're on row 21. Go ahead and make one double crochet into the next four stitches. And once you've made your four double crochets, go ahead and make a uh, one back post double crochet into the next stitch. We've turned our work so all of our stitches are to the back now. Remember we want to keep all of the stitches towards the front. Four double crochets going across. This is a non-increase row. Make your back post double crochet in the next stitch. And then one double crochet into the next four stitches going across. And now we're going to make our way back into our pattern. As you can see the star on the screen, that means to repeat. This is going to be your repeat pattern. So make your back post double crochet. And then in your next section, one double crochet into the next three stitches. And then a back post double crochet. So just keep repeating that all the way across. And I'll meet you when we get closer to the end. Okay, so now we're still on row 21. We're continuing. So make your one double crochet into the next four stitches. And then once you've done that, make a back post double crochet, which is doing everything in reverse now, the opposite of what we did on the other side. Once you've made your back post double crochet, go ahead and make one double crochet into these last four stitches. When you get to the end of the row, you should still have 35 double crochets because remember, this is not an increase row. Those 35 double crochets include your front post double crochets. So I'll be back in a moment. So now chain two and turn your work. We're going into row 22, which is an increase row. So in your first stitch, you're going to make two double crochets into that first stitch. And then one double crochet into the next three stitches. And now a front post double crochet into the next stitches. Remember to make your two double crochets into that first stitch. 
Now make your front post double crochet and then one double crochet in the next four stitches. And after you've made your uh, double crochets, your four double crochets, go in with your front post double crochet. This is where you're going to start repeating your pattern. So make your front post double crochet. And then go into the next three stitches with one double crochet. And just repeat that across. So after you make your three double crochets across, make a front post double crochet and just repeat. And I'll be back when I get closer to the end. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row now, and what I have left is my last front post double crochet. So go ahead and put that in there, and then one double crochet into the next three stitches. And because this is our increase row, we're going to put two double crochets into the last stitch. So when you make your two double crochets, you, ha you should have 37 double crochets going across. So we're going to step into the next row, but I'm going to switch it up. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, go ahead and chain two and turn your work. Now we're stepping into a non-increase row, which is row 23. And we're going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches. Remember, we've increased, so now we have more double crochets that we need to work with. So make one double crochet into the next five stitches. And because we've turned our work, we're going to go to the back with our back post double crochet into the next stitch. And then one double crochet into the next four stitches after you've made your back post double crochet. So make your five stitches. I don't know what I'm saying here. I, I just talk too much. <laughs> So one double crochet into the next five stitches. We haven't quite gotten to our pattern just yet. Once you make those five double crochets and make your back post double crochets, you're going to make one double crochet into the next four stitches and then a back post double crochet in the next stitch. And now we're making our repeat. So now make your three double crochets, one double crochet into the next three st stitches. And then a back post double crochet. So you're repeating from the star. Whenever you see that star, it means to repeat that particular section. So I'm going to keep making my rows across and I'm going to meet you when I get a little bit closer to the end. And I'll be back. Okay, so now we're getting closer to the end of the row, and I just have my last few stitches here. This is my final back post double crochet. We are still in row 23. Now go ahead and make that back post double crochet, and then make one double crochet in the next five stitches going across. Remember, this is not an increase row, so it's just a straight up five double crochets, one double crochet into each row. When you get to the end of the row, you should have 37 double crochets still because you did not increase. So I will be back and we'll move on to row 24. Okay, so go ahead and chain two and turn your work. We're now going into the next row, which is row 24. So this is an increase row. You're going to place two double crochets into the first stitch and then one double crochet into the next four stitches. Once you've placed your four stitches in the next one double crochet in the next four double crochets, go ahead and make your front post double crochet. Just make sure that you start off with two double crochets into that first stitch and then make four double crochets going across one in each of the next four stitches and then make your front post double crochet in the next stitch. 
After that, make one double crochet in the next four stitches. And once you've done this part, we're stepping into our repeat rows into our normal pattern. So right where you see that star, go ahead and make your front post double crochet and then one double crochet into the next three stitches. And that is your pattern. So after you make these three stitches, these three double crochets, go ahead and make a front post double crochet. So I'm going to continue with my normal stitch, my normal pattern, and I will meet you when I get closer to the end. Okay, so now we are still in row 24, and we're going to continue on. Make your your one front post double crochet in the next stitch, and then one double crochet into the next four stitches. This is one. Was that two, three? It's either three or four. This is the final one here. This is number four. And then in your next stitch, you're going to make one front post double crochet. And then one double crochet into the next four stitches. And then after you've made your four double crochets across, make two double crochets into the very last stitch. Remember, this is an increased row. So at the end of the row, the beginning and the end of the row, you want to make two double crochets into the same stitch at the end of the row. So now chain two. I'm sorry, I'm putting my second double crochet into this stitch here. Chain two and turn your work. Now we are continuing on. Since we've done an increased row, we are now going to do we are not going to increase anymore in this next row. Remember, every other row, we will increase. So now we're going into row 25. This is a no increase row. Make one double crochet in the next six stitches. And then again, once you make your six double crochets across, you're going to make one back post double crochet into the next stitch so that's six double crochets going across then go into your next stitch with a back post double crochet remember your stitches are facing the back now so once you've made your back post double crochet make one double crochet into the next Four stitches this is your final double crochet of those four Now in your next stitch, go ahead right in with your back post double crochet. Now we're going right into our normal pattern. So make your back post, your back post double crochet and then one double crochet in the next three stitches. And then another back post cro double crochet in the next stitch. And you're just going to repeat that. And I'm going to meet you when I get closer to the end. Okay, so now we're at close to the end. We are still in row 25 our no increase row go ahead and make your back post double crochet in the next stitch and then one double crochet in the next four stitches after you make your four double crochets across Go ahead and make your final back post double crochet. And then one double crochet into the last six double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four. five and six so at the end of your row when you've made your six double crochets you should have 39 double crochets so let's move on now we're at the end of the row go ahead and chain two 
and turn your work. Now we are going into row 26, which is an increase row. So now with our increase row, which is row 26, go ahead and make two double crochets into the first stitch. And then one double crochet into the next two stitches. We're going to switch it up for a moment here because we are increasing on the sides. And I want to add some more front post double crochets on the side. So once you've made your one double crochet in the next two stitches, you're going to make a front post double crochet into the next stitch. This is a bit of a change up in our pattern and it's only going to affect the sides of your work. So once you've made that front post double crochet, go ahead and go into the next two double crochets with a double crochet. And then in the next stitch, a one, uh, one front post double crochet in the next stitch. And then one double crochet into the next four stitches. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause this because I have the pattern typed in here for you. So you can always pause this and go ahead and continue on. So now we're going into our normal pattern, which is our front post double crochet. And then one double crochet into the next three stitches of the row. So now I'm just going to keep working my pattern, my normal pattern, and I'll meet you at the, when we get closer to the end of the row. Okay, so we're getting close to the end of the row. Now you're going to make a front post double crochet. This is our increase row. We're still in row 26. Once you've made your front post double crochet, make one double crochet into the next two stitches. And then a front post double crochet, just like we did on the other side. And then you're going to make one double crochet in the next two stitches. And then two double crochet into the last stitch. And when you come to the end of your row and you've made your two double crochets in that last stitch, you should have 41 double crochets going all the way across. If you have less or more, you either added too many stitches or you skipped the stitch. So I'm going to turn my work and I'll be back. Okay, so we're at the end of the row. Go ahead and chain two and turn your work. Now we're going into the next row, which is a non-increase row. Do not increase in this row. This is row 27. So make one double crochet into the next four stitches. Three. And four. And once you make your four double crochets going all the way across, you're going to make one back post double crochet into the next stitch. And then one double crochet into the next two stitches. Then make a back post double crochet in the next stitch. And then one double crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Now make your back post double crochet again. And now we're going into our regular pattern. So make that back post double crochet. And then in your next stitch, you're going to make three double crochets going across one double crochet into each stitch now just keep repeating your pattern which is your front post double crochet and then your three double crochets into the next stitch i meant to say back post double crochet so i'm going to meet you when i get closer to the end okay so now we are still in row 27 and we're at the end of the row or getting close to the end. Go ahead and make your back post double crochet in the next stitch. And then one double crochet into the next two stitches. And then a back post double crochet in the next stitch. If I'm going too quickly, you can slow this down or you can pause it and read the pattern above. And then in your next stitch, make one double crochet into the next four stitches. So after you've made your last four double crochets, you want to have 41 double crochets going all the way across. Remember, this is not an increase row. So I will be back. So chain two and turn your work. And now we're stepping into row 28. 
So uh, 28 is an increase row. So put two double crochets into your first stitch and then one double crochet into the next three stitches. And then once you've made your three double crochet across, go ahead and make a front post double crochet into the next stitch. And then one double crochet into the next two stitches. We're coming up on our increase row now, as you can see from that star. So once you've made those two double crochets, go ahead and make a front post double crochet. This is your repeat pattern, our normal pattern. After you make your front post double crochet, make one double crochet into the next three stitches. And just repeat this going all the way across. And I will meet you when I get closer to the end of the row. Just remember to make your front post double crochet and then one double crochet into the next three stitches and I'll be back. Okay, so we're almost to the end of the row and I'm going to make one front post double crochet and then one double crochet into the next four stitches. And that is the end of our row. Remember, this is an increased row, so you want to put two double crochets into the last stitch, just like we did in the beginning of the row. You want to make sure you're doing everything you do on the left, you must do on the right. So now chain two and go ahead and turn your work. So now we are finished with our pattern with the top portion of our work here and I'm going to begin with the top portion of the pants area. So you want to make a really long uh, chain. I made 70 chains as I went along. So you make as many as you need to going all the way around to the other side of your garment. You want to measure your waist or how far your top portion goes down. You want to measure from there. So when I made my measurements, I got 70 chains here. And now I'm going to take and I'm going to attach my 70 chains to the other side of this top here. So go ahead and grab your work and then you're going to put your hook into the very top stitch of uh, in the first double crochet. So make sure that your chain is nice and straight. Okay, so put your uh, stitch, your hook into your first um, your first double crochet of the row and make a slip stitch. Sorry, I'm having a hard time here. <laughs> and chain two. Now we're going to continue on and we're going to go into this row with our pattern. So you're just going to follow the pattern along. Don't make any changes. There's no increases, no decreases. Just follow your stitches along. So I'm going to keep making my stitches. When you get to your front post double crochet, make your front post double crochet and continue on with the rest of your stitches and just follow your pattern along. So I'm going to keep making my stitches along here following my pattern without increasing and I will be back. Okay, so I'm now at the end of the row with my double crochets. I have my 70 here. Go ahead into your first double crochet with a slip stitch and chain two. Now you're going to follow your pattern along again just making your double crochets across and then your front post double crochets when you get to that section. This is your row two here of the top portion of the pants. Now I am going to cut eventually and we're going to start our new video. Um, part two will be the rest of the pants. So I'm just basically showing you how to do the top portion of the pants that goes right above, right till you get to your hips. And when you get to the hips, you're going to start increasing. So I'm going to keep making my pattern across. Just again, follow your double crochets. When you get to that front post double crochet, make your front post double crochet and just continue on. So I'm going to keep going and I'll meet you when I get to the next row. Okay, so now I'm making my way around and make sure you use a stitch marker so that you know where your first stitch is and I'm going to come and meet you when I get to the end of the row. 
So now when you've made your second row of these double crochets in the back and your pattern in the front, go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch and chain two. So again, just make those stitches again, make another row. And basically you're going to make these rows up. You're going to make about four more rows and then we're going to start a new pattern. But I'm going to do that in the next video. So again, if you want to, if you don't want to do any more front post double crochets and you just want the pants portion to be double crochets, you can just make double crochets going all the way around or you can make the follow your pattern in the front and continue making your double crochets into the back. So I'm going to keep going and when I get closer to the other end, when I get closer to the beginning, I'll be back. So I'm getting closer to the end of the row. And as I said, I'm going to cut the video here and um, uh, pick up where we left off in the next video. So again, if you want to keep making your double crochets going all the way around until you get to the back portion and you can make double crochets or you can continue your pattern. It's totally up to you. So I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tie Handmade Crochet and come back for part two of our jumpsuit video. Have a great day. See you in the next video.